So what's up, pop culture fans and movie lovers? Jeffman316 of the Jeffman316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. And I'm going to do a little movie hunt. We haven't even been in Dollar Journal in a hot minute, have we? So yeah, we're going to go in one or two of them. And if I find anything, we're going to show you and we'll show you the store. And then we'll actually come back here and I'll show you the haul. So uh, let's get into some DGs. What are we waiting for? Let's go. So let's head into this uh, Dollar General. This is actually a market that's, um, but they did have a decent movie rack up front. So we'll look through it here. Uh, Prisoners, man, I can't recommend that movie enough. That thing's awesome. I would pay four bucks for that if I didn't have it. That is a really good movie. Jake Gyllenhaal is in it. Hugh Jackman. And then this is a great four movie set. Watchmen, The Losers is excellent. I love The Losers. So four movies, another four movie pack. A lot of these movies I have, or I'd be snatching these up. Domino is a very underrated movie. Got Mickey Rourke, Hero Knightley. I love that movie. And look at this one. They got Two-Headed Shark Attack and Mecha Shark versus Crocosaurus. Um, Deck the Halls. I'm, I've dug through here and picked out a few that I've put on top. Look for $5.95, Sex in the City. Both of those movies, New Year's Day, that's a good set. Horrible Bosses and Due Date. Seven is a little high for that. Dumbo. This Butterfly Effect is good. Uh, the director's cut of Butterfly Effect. The alternate ending. Look at this, a Jaws 3-pack. Now that's a little, probably a little high for Dollar General, but you do get 2-3 in The Revenge. Blindside is an excellent movie. Dolphin's Tale. Look, there's an anime set. I don't know much about that. Anybody know anything about that? This is an excellent movie here. If you don't own it, I, I think it's worth five bucks for the cast alone. And it's excellent. Tina Fey's in there. Jason Bateman. Like I said, I've pulled some of the decent stuff to the front. Look, a steel book for Sherlock Holmes for five bucks. And this here is definitely worth six ninety five. Troy, the director's cut is on there. And Sherlock Holmes, the collection, both of the movies for five bucks. I don't know if that's worth eight dollars, but if you like Adam Sandler, I don't know what this is. Badlands, a movie for four bucks. It doesn't look too bad. Trace Atkins, oh God, he was in that Man Eater I reviewed. In the Earth, I think people saw that at the Dollar Tree though. But this movie here, I may pick this up. I've watched it on demand. It is really good. It's a very underrated um, horror movie. Um, if they don't have anything else, I'll spend three bucks just to support Dollar General. Here's another anime set. Fifteen to me. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, the Ocean's 11, 12, and 13. That's a good deal. I don't know two movies for six ninety five, but they got some sets of Red versus Blue. Hurricane Heist. I already owned that. That was a 4K. Why well, I didn't pick that up. But look, they had this uh, musical set in a different Dollar General that they didn't have anything else that was any good. But um, hey, is this worth picking up? It looks like it's got a 3D version of one of them. I'm not big into musicals, but I might pick it up. So let's get home and I'll show you what I did pick up. So that was a pretty productive hunt. That one store had a lot in it. Some Dollar Generals still are stacked from the stuff that I've seen before or just, uh, you know, that I already have owned from uh, other whether it be Dollar Trees or Dollar Generals or whatever. So check your stores because that was a lot of options that I gave you. In the one store, I did pick up a movie that I've seen and I kind of liked and I didn't know if it, was, if it was available on Blu-ray or DVD, so I picked it up. It's a movie called Tailgate. And I've seen it before and it's definitely worth three bucks. I wished it was on Blu-ray, but I don't think you can get a Blu-ray in the U.S. of this one. So um, that's pretty cool. And then I didn't pick anything else up in that store, even though they did have quite a bit. But one thing that I picked up in another one that had absolutely no movies that were any good, so I didn't bore you with that footage, is something I didn't think I would ever get. Um, I had went in there, you know, they had a deal, I think, on Dollar Generals when you go in there on Saturday a lot, if you, you would get a coupon if you bought stuff from before during the week, and I did. So I saved it, 
and I went in there and I stocked up on stuff, you know, like Red Bulls and you know, all the essentials. And I added this to spend $25 so I could save five. So in my mind, I only got this for five bucks. So you see where I'm going with that. I'm always trying to be thrifty. Um, and I also said I'd never buy musicals and I bought musicals. A four movie set. This is a Warner Brothers set. Um, it's one of those thick hard cases. Um, and it looks like it's um, also got like the booklet style. It's the Bandwagon, Calamity Jane, Kiss Me Kate, and Singing in the Rain. I've never seen any of those movies. Um, I'm not a big musical fan, so let me know of those four which ones are good. And I thought it was weird because Kiss Me Kate says it's got the original version and a 3D, Blu-ray 3D version. So I've got a 3D player, so that ought to be pretty wacky to watch. So, um, so yeah, so a really small haul, but a decent hunt. So um, what are you finding in uh, Dollar General? Like I said, I'm going to go to some more and hopefully we'll start finding some stuff because, man, I haven't found anything really good since last year. So like the video, even if you didn't like the hunt, um, always give me an A for effort anyway. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hopefully you have and I'll start doing a lot more movie hunts and I'm going to go to thrift stores and some uh, flea markets and stuff as the weather gets a little bit nicer. So um, stick around for those and then watch anything else you see pop culture related on the channel. I really do appreciate it. So if you once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell and it'll let you know when I post new videos. So uh, like I said, in the comments, let me know what you're finding in DG. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, boys and girls, this is Jeff Man 316 your pop culture reporter, signing out saying you guys be safe out there.